Wait a minute. Okay, so Bowser in the lava world is not the final Bowser stage. I, I, mis I misremembered. Alright, Mario, don't die on me, Mario. If you do, that's bad, because, like, you need to live to save everybody or something. Okay, so far, so good. Oh! Very tricky, Bowser. Though you shouldn't have left that one-up mushroom sitting there. Mario loves those things. Now, you know, you think that Bowser wouldn't send Mario through, like, an obstacle course like this. Would, you know, you'd think that he'd probably just, like, kill him somehow. Like, couldn't Bowser, say, made the trap just that, um... What the? No, 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 no! Come on, Mario, there's a health... There you go, Mario. Run through it, Mario. Just so. Hey, wait, what happened to that bully? Oh, there he is. Hey, bully. Nice try, bully. Just JK, it was not a nice try. It was, it was, it's, it was terrible. It was as pathetic as, as you are for, 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 for bullying people. Just gonna knock it! Off the platform before it knocks me off. Of course, that's always the order of the day now, isn't it? Why am I so bad at fighting these things? Oh, well, it's easier to do when you're jumping, anyway. Oh, never mind, we got it. Should I do the 100 coin challenge, since it doesn't take us out of the level? I mean, I could. Anyway, we have a few ways to go now, it looks like. Let's see what happens if I go up here, at least. Probably at least some... Oh, yeah, there's coins. Including one of the legendary red coins. Yeah, this is not the safest place for that coin to be suspended now, is it? Oh, no, no! No, no, no! Oh! Bowser, you monster! Well, Mario learned his lesson. Don't get greedy. Besides, there are plenty of stars to go around. We don't need to get the, all the red coins in the, in the Bowser stages. There are plenty more... There are plenty of stars. Plenty of other stars around here. It's kind of odd, though, going from his submarine to a lava world, isn't it? What's up with that, you think? I don't know. Could be anything. I'm not getting the mushroom. Now we jump to these. It's easy peasy. Just like, um... Lemon squeezing is supposedly easier, so I'm, so I'm told. I like how they put that there so that as long as you get this far, you're not gonna screw up irrevocably. You can always get the lives back, and therefore have a chance against Bowser. Although if that last fight with Bowser is any, indica any indication, the problem is less, um, uh... Hey, hey, hey. The problem is less fighting Bowser. Like, it's not, like, getting hurt by Bowser. The problem is being able to throw Bowser into the bombs. Hey, it's Goombas. Martial artist Mario, I tell you what. There we go. I suppose in the Smash Brothers games, does Mario uh, fight? Does he kick and punch in those? I wouldn't know. I really don't care much for those games. I understand that they apparently have some kind of appeal to them, but to me it just seems like a disgusting misappropriation of characters. Like, those are not what the characters are supposed to be doing. They're totally dera- you know, they're totally removed from their intent, from their context, where they have some- whatever. Anyway, let's just go up here. Got Mario. No, Mario! No! Mario! Oh, not all worked out anyway. Um, here we go. Isn't there something over here? Yeah, there is. Oh, it's a- you! No, I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? Well, anyway, um... We can make it Mario. See? We made it Mario. What'd I tell you? Wait, hold on. Hold, hold on, Mar Mar Mario, I can't... Where? Um, okay, that was good. I was just assuming there was solid ground around here. There we go. Maybe I am going to just try and get as many coins as possible. I just am a big fan of the 100 coin challenges. They're addictive. You know, those Koopas are pretty good engineers, I guess. But look at this thing up here, though. It makes you wonder, like... 
First of all, how is this lava see-through? It looks like Kool-Aid, not lava. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, crap. Well, no. No! No, no, no! No. This way. Good job, Mario. Oh, we'll try again. Nope. Um... What the... Yeah, I'm fine with this. I don't need to do the 100 coin challenge here. I'll just screw up, especially once we're this far. It almost seems like it's just a recipe for trouble. I mean, don't get me wrong, Mario's in lots of trouble. So yeah, you have to hold down the hold down the jump button to st No! Come on, there you go. You have to hold down the jump button to stay attached to these things. We're not gonna get 100 coins, though. I should just stop now. Hey. Hey, guys, quit it! Would you quit it already, huh? They have those horns, so you know they're ramming around like bulls. But it's still pretty uh, obnoxious if I do say so myself. I'm not gonna get those coins. Or am I? What the? Is that block sinking? It's kind of weird. Why is it doing that? Well, I'm not complaining. I mean, I've got I got an item out of it. That's always a good thing. One ups are. Um, yeah, you, this whole thing is slightly sinking and lowering, isn't it? How strange. Why is it doing that? How is it doing that? I mean, clearly these walkways are built out of some kind of elastic material. Uh, was that worth it? Probably not. But that's fine. Bowser breathes coins, remember? In this particular installment of the series, he eats them. Oh, I see, so there is a red coin over there. There is a red coin right here, too. Yeah, so a red coin is worth at least two normal coins. Good to know. Um... Well, I guess we're gonna have to wait a second for Bowser's extremely inconvenient lift. So Bowser himself is in here, so this isn't like a trap, like, Bowser is in here. So does that mean Bowser navigated this himself? It might. Oh, coin, coin. You see, I must admit, it is just very addictive getting coins. Very addictive and... Okay, Mario, don't let it sink in. Oh, oh. Well, that's fine. We're all get electrocuted occasionally. In, li in, li in life, occasionally. Occasionally we get, we, we get electrocuted. All right, run through it. Yeah! There we go! Yeah, I'm not going back for that red coin. Truthfully, though, I'm already most way there if I wanted to get a hundred coins, aren't I? Yeah, most of the way there. Most of the way there. I could even get an extra star while I'm up here. I don't know, is it worth it? I don't know! Ooh! Well, with all these extra lives we're getting, I mean, I guess I could take the risk. You know what? Maybe I should have gone in here with Luigi. I feel kind of bad about how mean people are to him. If he beat Bowser, that'd be... Oh, it's a time thing? Well, I'll wait for the time limit to pass. But I think... You know what? I think I'm gonna go for this star. I'm feeling adventurous. This is probably going to go so horribly. I don't even remember clearly what was at the bottom of this, like, chasm here. Well, it's probably nothing that I can't handle. No, jump off! No, don't jump in! I swear, Mario, you just always go too far, Mario! Okay, Mario. Yes! <laughs> All right. Why did it say I'm getting stronger from the power of the castle, though, as if it's like a hidden star? Well, I suppose it's because there's a tendency for any stars that are... don't warp you out of the level to be described as, you know, you're getting stronger from the power of the castle. And just one of those quirks, you know, some people get stronger from the power of the castle, others don't. Like Bowser, for example. He's not getting stronger. 
You know, maybe he's done. Bowser just doing all this because he wants to, you know, get get back at Mario. Like Bowser's main motivation is not say revenge or kidnapping Peach or taking over the kingdom anymore. Maybe that's why it had to be Mario who came in here, and he doesn't care that his whole, you know, conquest has been undone. Is this gonna sink? Yeah, it's not gonna sink. Okay, now just Mario's need to jump this way. Good job, Mario. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, hold on. What is this? You see that bend? Is it, is it, yeah, it's like bending. I mean, it's a warp pipe, but it looks like one of those, uh, the anuses of the warp spaces from Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, doesn't it? Okay, Bowser! Bowser! No, ba Bowser, let's not... Let's not go there, Bowser, please. No, ba Bowser! Bowser! Bowser, please! Let's not go there, Bowser! Let's not do the jumping thing, Bowser! I really would prefer it when you, if you don't do that, b my man. Or Koopa, I guess. He never... He, he, you know, he, what he needed to do is take up jogging or something. Then this wouldn't happen, now would it? Okay... Go! Oh! Didn't... We didn't go very far, did, did we? We're not gonna let Bowser give him the chance to, to move, move around again. The great demon king, Bowser Koopa. All right. Is he really a demon? I don't think he is. I think he's just a big, arrogant Koopa. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, he found out Mario's only nemesis, gravity. Yeah, every time you fail, you begin sliding off, don't you? That's the problem here. Come on, Bowser. Please, Bowser. Thanks, Bowser. No, no, no. Ba ba oh, coins. Wait, did Bowser just teleport? Well, I mean, I know that Bowser is, you know, the Koopa clan has its magic, but... Okay, I'm not gonna say you've met your match, Mario, because of course you haven't. But we are doing not so great. Bowser's gotten a few hits on us in comparison to no hits we've gotten on him. We threw him, but we didn't throw him into a bomb. As far as I'm concerned, this is basically luck-based. I don't understand how anyone could be fast enough to aim. Okay. Well, I mean, aim here. I understand he could be fast enough to aim elsewhere. No, you did Don't, Bowser. The bomb is right next to us. King Koopa, how would you like to face plan in it? You know, why did he even put those bombs there? If he hadn't put those bombs there, this wouldn't have happened, now would it? Any words for us, Koopa? Wow, Mario just had his back turned to that key. What a tough guy. <laughs> okay, Luigi, good news! Mario's gonna run off and tell him like, Hey guys, it's Luigi, a Yoshi! Guess what's happened? You know, like that, and he'll tell them how he beat Bowser again, now they know that the princess is in the top of the tower. It's like Rapunzel, except there's a lot less impregnation and fairies and stuff. You see, that's how the witch, or the fairy, or whoever imprisoned her in the tower knew that she'd been visited is because she was pregnant. I mean, in the original story, that's how it is. It's very earthy, that story. Bunny? Bunny? You're bunny, bunny, bunny. Bunny? I know there's a toad there, and I should probably go talk to him, but first of all, I want to take care of their filthy, filthy rabbit problem. That's not true. I like rabbits. You know, I've actually been told before that rabbits... 
that, um, like, I, I know somebody who used to have a pet rabbit, and he says they really, it, like, really smelled. Why, yes! I see that some people think of Mario in rather less than friendly terms. Not as a superhero, but as a guy who stomps on people. I take that as a compliment. Yeah, whatever, you filthy liar. Well, I guess he's being honest since he says for now. You see, this is a part of the game where they introduce a new, uh, a new feature. Depending on which painting or where in the painting you jump, the level will be affected. No, for a couple levels. When I first heard that those years ago, it was something special. Shabob! Oh. Yeah, we can't get into bob on Battlefield from here. Nor can we get into the uh, mountain from here. Oh, here's that level that was my least favorite level. Let's go to it. And once again, we see another mountain climbing theme. This is Tall Tall Mountain, huh? No wonder I didn't remember if that's not a very memorable name. That means we're gonna need it soon. That means we're gonna need it soon. While we're here, though, let's try and collect as many coins as possible. I was hoping there'd be an owl. Hey, there's something out there. What is that? Is that a... It's a one-up. It's a one-up shroom. Well, anyway, now that we have our first coin, let's go squash some gooms. Just kidding. Gooms are a different enemy. They appeared in Super... No, they appeared in Wario Land, if I remember. I've never actually played that, though. I don't know, maybe that Goomba didn't even bother us. What? What the heck? That's how gravity works, I guess. So, they're telling us we could long jump out to those mushrooms, right? Not sure why we would. That would be a very dangerous box to grab right here. But it does have coins in it. And I'm really up for those hundred coins right now. I just go, I can really, I can go for some hundred co coins. Coins! There we go. Oh, we could have gotten up the cliff. We wouldn't have to have long jumped. Ah, oh, well. All right, just gotta crouch and jump. And jump. Thus, j just so. Oh, there's a cannon down there. Anyway. Whew. This bit with the mushrooms here is so nerve-wracking to me. Okay, careful, Mario. Careful, Mario! Okay. Oh, all the red coins are out here, huh? What's in this? Oh. That's pretty good, actually. For a second there, I was like, oh god, it's like a, it's a Koopa shell. And that's the last thing in the world I want today. Here, right now, in this place. Um, should I get any of these? I'll get a few of them. If I mean, if I want to get a hundred coins, you know, I... Every coin counts! Every coin counts! Okay. I just need to get out of here. Easier said than done! Okay. Okay, we're on this one. <sighs> this is so nerve-wracking to me. Like, every jump is a jump that I might not make it. <laughs> Anyway, what's the- oh, the red coins would appear out there anyway. Oh, Monty Mole? You here? Yeah, you are. Oh, hey, Monty Mole? Monty- Monty Mole? What? Could you guys- could, could you- QUIT IT! No, no, go! Criminy Mario! Why did- What is it with Mario and just diving like a madman towards cliffs? It's a bad habit! Like, you know what? Forget it. Who, who needs those guys?
Oh, and I see we have one of those guys who will grab us. But we need to grab him instead. No! No, Mario! No, 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 no! He will throw us off the mountain here, Mario. Uh-oh. No. God, come on. Okay. Okay. No! It's because Mario is tackling. You, you have to not be running when you press the A button or Mario doesn't grab him. Here we go. That's that. Yeah, those guys, I guess, are some kind of bob -ons. Go, 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 go. Wait, we're just up above where we started. It's a real sense of verticality. Makes sense, I guess, in this er- What the? Monkey? Hey, monkey. Mo you know what? Forget the- forget the- forget the- It's not the shy guy. Monkey, what, what are you doing? You realize what you're doing here, monkey? You piece of crap monkey! Well, admittedly, I- No! There's a shy guy! Okay, that was- that was very close. I almost went off the, uh, the mountain. But you saw that. That wasn't my fault. Not sure why that even happened. I mean, why'd I just have to- you know, it's my fault for- It's my- it's my fault, okay? I understand that. If I hadn't grabbed that monkey, none of that would've happened. I get that. I- I did not get the coin, though. Oh, is there a bob -omb buddy down there? I wanna talk to him? Nah, I'll talk to him some other time. Right now we got more important concerns, like climbing the mountain and getting lots and lots of coins, and so we're filthy stinking rich. Whoa. Monkey, quit following me! Oh, oh! What the? Where are we now? We've been here before! Is there a star? Yeah, there's a star out there. Well, worry about getting this! Okay, that's not what I should have done. Press the buttons in the wrong order there. Okay, I guess we're just gonna have to climb all the way back to the top of the mountain. Yep, you see here this cheery, happy music? It's not the music that should be playing here. This place is terrible. Also, there's a lower ledge. This place is just terrible. It's the worst place. Yeah, those Monty Moles don't throw too well. I'm glad. Oh, no. No, you don't. Cut! I hate these Monty Moles! I remember, didn't we encounter one earlier? I don't remember it causing much trouble for us then. He's gotta be, he's gotta be fast, I guess. I mean, I took out a couple of them. Oh, whatever. You think you'd get a star for taking them out? You might, honestly. That's certainly challenging enough to be its own mission. Not the challenge is a prerequisite for the missions in this one. You know, we might might as well just get the red coin star now. I mean, we've gotten so many of the red coins. Hey. There. No. No. Okay, come on. J Mario, just jump to this ledge right here. Just so. Just so. Wait, I guess we are climbing the mountain now, aren't we? Oh, now we're Luigi, kind of. All right. No, no, no! Oh, oof. It's still kind of weird seeing Mario's voice come out of Luigi, but you know. What can you do? Why is it so hard to, like, turn around in this game? <laughs> I mean, I suppose that's just... No! I'm sorry, I just... I, I keep being scared that they're gonna just keep going over the cliff. In which case, it's all for naught. Because, you know, you, you you screw up once and it's all... Oh, another one up. Man, I'm just getting tons of these things today. I say is I can't even jump onto this little ledge here. Okay. Yeah, you know, this Super Mario 64 is just a game... I mean, I know this is the DS one. But it's a game that just really sort of captures the imagination. At least to me. I mean, I woke up this morning and the first thing I'm thinking of is Super Mario 64. I don't know, maybe I have a problem or something, but... No, 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 no! But it seems to me that... It has a pretty... It, it, there's something very unique about it. I suppose that it's the first full 3D platformer. I mean, I know this, I think Crash Bandicoot sort of predates it, but 
What, you know what, I think maybe we'll just have to go to the top of the cliff and get it from there. I think that's what we'll do. Well, um, you know, Mario, you're not looking like such a cool hero right now. You're looking kind of like a crazy man who can't do anything. I mean, not that I'm judging. I look like that all the time. That's my default state. As you might guess by the fact that I'm... Well, I mean, really, what Mario looks like right now is not like a crazy man who can't do anything. He looks like Luigi. I could make some insult by, like, same difference or something, but... Okay, now I'll go get that one in a minute here. First... No, caref careful, Mario. This is a tall, tall mountain. You can get hurt. Oh, we're way above where we were before, actually. How did we get here? I don't know. Not complaining, though. We're pretty close to the top. But now that we've gotten the red coins, I feel like we should just go get the red coin star. That's my opinion on the matter. Although, I do want to see how many, um... Oh, another hidden... One of these. Yeah, I, I do just want to see how many uh, coins we can get, though. We, we're halfway. We're over halfway to the red coin star, after all. I mean, to the 100 coin star. Hey, hey, you, you, you done rolling? No? Yes? Maybe so? Oh, hey, what's this thing say? Oh, this is where we were trying to get to. So what happens if Mario loses his cap? Does he, like, become weaker to attacks or something? I never figured that out. This is a stage I do remember not having much sort of mystery about. Oh, boy. First, though, get the coins. Get the coins first, though. Here we go. So strong wind, huh? Like, I care. I'm not afraid of you and your stinking strong wind. Especially because I'm this tall. Because I'm a toll man. Man, I am just eating up the one-ups today. Oh, hold on, there are Goombas up there. I want to go up there, too. How do I get up there? Is there a way to? Um, I guess by jumping to that ledge there. What happens if I... I think we're high enough up there's probably ground beneath us. Anyway, this is where Wario needs to get to down the line, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so here we are, almost at the summit. But I'm still gonna go get the uh, coin, get the get the star that's the red coin star. But now hold on, I want to get these coin. Sixty-seven. There we go. We're at sixty-nine coins. So what? There's about there's about thirty more. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Is this ground really that slippy slidey to you? Oh, those goombas are slippy sliding. But that's just because they're goombas. We're, we're better than them. You see, I say that, and I just... I, I'm proliferating the long-standing prejudice there is against Goombas. They face so much discrimination. Okay, okay. Coins, coins. Now, this is what I'm... What the... Uh-oh. I don't like the look of that cloud, man. This is not an enemy... I Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, crap! We're gonna die here and st Oh, hold on. Coins! Well, I suppose if we die here, we'll just get thrown out back into the painting on the side of the mountain, right? Look at those smiley faces. They're just here to deceive us. You see, they treat these slides as if they're fun instead of horrifying. Okay, God. Okay, go! So far, so not dead. We've served No! 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 Is this the end? Is it over? No! Crap! I got the red coin star! I got- We're I hate that stage! I'm not going- or I probably am going there again, let's be honest. Ah, the little big island stage. This is one stage that remains mysterious to me. I never really figured it out. So you see, we go into this painting, and it's the giant one. Now, there's a painting down there, and they've set up the walls to, like, trick you with the perspective. Into thinking they're all the same size, but as you can see, that's the small one. If you go in there, the level's small. 
And I guess if you go in there, it's normal size? Not really sure. This is one level I never really figured out. You see, it's a nice touch that it decides the Goombas can't hurt you. Yeah, to me, this is one of the most mysterious levels in the game, because I never really figured out how to get around in it. I'm glad- you know, I hate to imagine what that bird would be like giant size. This Goomba and I are just having the most stupid fight ever. Hey, hey, Goomba. There we go. Did it leave any coins? Yeah, it did, actually. Oh, so here we have a warp pipe. Will it warp us to the other warp pipe? Uh, yes, it will. Oh, no, I get it. The warp pipe will change the size of the island. In any case, plucking the piranha, you know, piranha plant doesn't sound too difficult at all. So why don't we just go... Uh-oh. No! 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 Oh, here we have the tall Goombas. Wow, that guy is tall. No, oh, we still killed him. They're no stronger, even though they're tall. Hey, hey, hey! I see. We can't kick and punch him, but we can, we can only we can only jump. That Goomba was trying to jump on us, but to no avail. Okay, now what? Oh, coins! I am in desperate need of these right now. I tell you what. Hold on, is this a tunnel? Can we go in there? I wait for another one to roll out first so I don't get squished. Wait, is another one? Surely another one's about to roll out. Or not. No, it's not a door. Here comes another one. Fortunately, it's not rolling towards us, but in the other direction. So, I don't see the star on the map. So I'm gonna go in here and see what happens. Is this gonna make it medium size? No, it's just gonna make it giant size, I see. Okay, now this is what I call dangerous looking. Are these gonna fall? <laughs> He's gonna fall? No, they're not, but we're gonna fall. Okay, yeah, you know what? I don't want I don't want to deal with this right now. I don't I don't feel like dealing with this. Mario, he's had a long day. So I say it's time we go see Luigi. Luigi? Luigi, Luigi, Luigi. Oh yeah, he's downstairs. Actually, yeah, you know what? That toad said that everyone should have the chance to shine. I think he's right. We should go that's why I'm going to get a Luigi. Not because Mario is tired, although Mario is. But because Luigi's a cool guy. See? He's optimistic too, or he can be. See? Anyway, um... Yeah. Well... We'll go, I guess. Uh, you know, I guess I'm not the only one who finds uh, jumping over chasms and stuff rather nerve-wracking. I believe that Eiji Aonuma uh, did not put any jumping into Ocarina of Time. Be what the? It's a different color. Oh, I get it. Do, do, do every, does every character have their own set of rabbits to catch? I bet they do. Where is it? Oh, there it is. The key is you gotta catch them like when they're turning towards you. You see, that one was in your hands, Luigi. You just weren't- you were just- you were just such a slowpoke, you stinking coward. How many rabbits have gotten into the castle? Okay, you know what? Let's just focus on climbing to the top of Tall Tall Mountain. That's what I think we should do. I know I said I would never do this stage again, but I've cooled down now. Let's go. It's important to remember that even though I often seem impatient, the truth is I really think this is a lot of fun. Not many games like 
you know, get in your... Oh. <laughs> Not many games, like, get in your head and make it so you can't stop thinking about them quite as much as this one. I mean, what's the last game that did that? For me, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there, I've been playing a lot of great games that didn't quite, you know... Get under the skin isn't the right word, because it makes it sound like, I don't know, there's something unpleasant about them. Like, man, that was so, like, haunting. It really got under my skin. It's, like, message about the pointlessness of our... You know, about the corruption of, of our, you know, society. Yeah, I know I said I would just go for the top of the mountain, but I can't help it. I just want to get all these coins. All right. All right. Jump! Good job, good job, Ouija. No! Imagine if he did that and he fell into that gap. That'd be terrible. Come on, Luigi. Come on, Luigi! Now, I don't blame Luigi for being kind of scared right here. I'm way more scared of falling than ghosts, because I've encountered a lot more things you can fall from in my life than I've encountered ghosts. I mean, maybe you have different life experience than me. That's just how I feel. You know, for a guy who said that I don't like this level, I seem to be getting a whole lot of one-ups here. You know, maybe I maybe I was wrong about this, about, about this place. Maybe Tall Tall Mountain isn't so bad. I mean, it's Tall Tall, that's for sure. But maybe it's not so bad, even though it is Tall Tall. And come to think of it, isn't Tall Tall Mountain range like a thing in Link's Awakening? Yeah, it is. Maybe Link had played this game before... Nah, he hadn't. Link was too busy, you know, fighting Ganon and A Link to the Past to have done that before before this game. Hey, hey. Coins. Hey, hey. There we go. Coins, coins, coins. Now we just need to catch this fella and kill him. You know, he just wants to throw us into a wall. No! Oh, wow. Wu is right. This is the dangerousest enemy ever in the entire... In no! No, no, no! Okay, throwing me into the wall isn't that bad, I must admit. Hey, hey. Here we go. Well, it was me or you. Not really, actually, in this case, but... Okay, get it, get the coins. Coins! Anyway, I don't know where we were when we found all those, uh... Is it gonna collapse? No, it's not. No! No, I don't know where exactly we were when we found all of those, um... Come on. There we go. I don't know where we were exactly when we found all of those, uh... Red coins and the, you know, in the grassy cliffside. Actually, no, we were by the Monty Moles, weren't we? Let's go see Monty again. I'm sure he'll be happy to see us. Where is old pal? Yeah, we don't need to do that long jump at all. Because we're Luigi. Luigi doesn't care about such things. You know, it'd be easier to get coins as Wario, even though he's not so good at jumping. Or I assume he's not. Because we could just smash those, like, crates there. And they're not crates, they're like, blocks. Because the only person who could break it would be a person who is shaped like a rock and about as smart as one, too. You know, Wario is kind of stupid, but he's not as stupid as Waluigi. Who does not appear in this game, as he probably shouldn't, because he's, like, terrible. But he's so- but his terribleness is what's so endearing about him, you know? There's something very human about, uh, about him. About all the characters, really, except for Mario. <laughs> Where are you? There's Goombas. Or one. Goomba. I don't like that hue sound I keep hearing. It makes me worry there's a Lakitu hanging out around here. Here we go. Good job, Luigi. You have some serious upper body strength is all I can say. A lot more than it looks like you have, I mean. I mean, you, you don't really look like you're in the best state of health. If we're, if we're being honest here, I mean, no offense. Hey, Goombies. Gorms! Come over here, wandering Gooms. I entreat thee! Oh, hey, there we go. Man, this is must, is really radically different from, say, Super Mario... Well, the side-scrolling ones, isn't it? 
I mean, this is basically an entirely new... You could make an entirely new game series like this. And is, if it didn't have the Mario characters, it wouldn't really... Well, then again, Mario can be on put on ever anything, but... It wouldn't really feel like a Mario game, would it? Yeah. But that's one... But once again, you know, a Super Mario RPG is a Mario game, and it isn't exactly like the other Mario games now, is it? Yeah. Of course it's not. Okay. What happened last time? H how did we fall off the mountain last time? I don't really clearly remember anymore. Like, it wasn't here. Was it? No, it was after this point. Oh! Okay, Luigi. So I know that didn't go as nicely as you probably wanted, you know, could have could have hoped. Oh, hold on, here we are. Hey, no. No, I was close. Hey, monkey, get away from me. Screw you, okay? Oh, it was you. It's a shy guy. It's some kind of shigui. And see, water is healing. It's um, very symbolic of, um, because water is like, it's baptismal. Now we're not gonna get, well, actually we are gonna get both those coins after all. You keep doing your little tricks, you cute monkey. You're not gonna fool me, you piece of crap. I'm sorry, am I being too hard on him? I'm not, because he's a dirty little, little trickster. He's so eager to steal Luigi's cap, even though he, well, you know when he says it doesn't look good on him, he doesn't mean that. He just, he, he's just saying that as like a, oh, well, yeah, you know, I didn't really want it anyway, kind of thing. A little whiner. You know what, yeah, let's go see the bob bomb buddy. You even understand you have to talk to them once to activate the cannon. Yeah, see? But that being said, why the heck that guy there? Wouldn't it be so, like, why did you have to hang out here of all places, bob bomb buddy? I don't get it either. And now we're back where we started, right? Yeah, we are. That's fine. I'm not gonna get the 100 coins today. I'll just go get the star. It's not worth the trouble. Okay, so where was that star? It was, it was on one of the side mushrooms. The side shrooms. Some people have side burns. This mountain has side mushrooms. Oh, there it is. You know what? You throw, throw all your rocks all you want at me, jerks. Luigi's first star! Woohoo! Maybe ever! Oh, yeah. If Bowser wanted to lock these stars behind eight red coins, you think he would just say, not leave the coins scattered randomly. He'd probably keep them with him, right? Or he'd put the he'd put them into the care of his lieutenants or generals or something. I don't know. Another old level! Nah. Oh look, another old level! Nah. Why are these paintings here, though, if we can't, like, go into them? I don't know. Well, anyway, so this is the- so that door leads to, uh... Big Small Land. What does this door lead to? No, wait, this door leads to Big Small Land, so what does that other door lead to? I don't know. This is also a level I know on the left there, but I'll- I'll do that later. Here we go. The mysterious room of certain things being absent, right? You 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 might notice you can see the Lakitu in there, but oh, what's this? Yeah. You know, Toad, why did you have to say your hint so cryptically though? It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, okay, fine. Let's no no. He, here we go. Also, let's see what's on the other side of this door. This moment is particularly magical to me. In any case, I think it's time to save the... The bet. you know, we saved the best for last. To some extent, I feel like Luigi's asking, do I really want to dis help this guy? But of course he does. What's this level called? Chief Chili Challenge. You know, to some extent, I think it's kind of interesting, uh... When you get down to it, the whole the idea that these guys are like... that, Like, Mario being kidnapped is a pretty unique idea. I've, I've never seen a video game that I can think of that opens with the title character being, like, imprisoned by the bad guy. Like, you, you don't start off playing as him, you have to find him. 
And I think that that alone lends the, this game a lot of a lot a lot of uh, it makes it a lot more interesting than if it hadn't done that. And so I still think this is one of the best Mario games. The fact that also the fact that it does that kind of stuff, I do think makes it better than the original uh, Super Mario 64. Now, obviously, it's not as revolutionary, because Super Mario 64 already happened. Yeah, we, we don't get any coins or anything, so I'm not even going to bother to fight him. Like, why would I? Okay, careful, Luigi. Watch your step here, Luigi. To be honest, I did not remember that you had to have Luigi with you to, like... To, uh, to save Wario. I, d I totally did not remember that. I might as well get the red coins, though. I mean... Oh, there's something over there, but there's also something over here. No, well, this is for Wario, then. Oh, boy. These coins. Luigi, you're gonna get- you're gonna get frostbite and die. You're gonna get hypothermia, I mean, not frostbite. I mean, you might get frostbite, you're not dressed for this climate. this red coin. Luigi's a lover, not a fighter. Or he would have killed all of them. Now, Wario would have killed all of them, let's be honest. He's Wario. Wario time! Oh, yeah! That's the kind of guy Wario is. He's the kind of guy who says that kind of stuff. Luigi says more things more like... Oh, wait, I missed my chance. Okay. We are so high up. So how exactly did these lieutenants, like, who get the... Who, how was it determined who got the keys? Because I thought they all went into bob -omb Battlefield where they were captured, right? So then, like, does that mean... That, but, but King Boo said he'd ca caught Luigi, right? Goomboss definitely said that he had personally caught Mario and locked him in a room. So does that mean... Like, what does that mean? Does that mean that... No, 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 Luigi! Lui Luigi! Gosh! Don't scare me that way, Ouija. Ouija board. No, we don't want that. We want to... We, we want to get to that power flower block on the other side of the bar so that Luigi can go through them. That's what we want today. But instead, we're not getting that, are we? Unless there's some hidden entrance from up here. Oh, here we go. This darn slippy slidey earth! Or snow, ice. Yeah. Go, Ouija! Yeah. yeah, I don't think this is snow. I think this is ice. Yeah. Good. Anyway, we'll be on our we'll be on our way now. We'll be on our way now. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, all those... Wait, there's still a red coin we didn't get? Where? Oh, don't tell me it's out there on that platform only Wario can get to. I bet you it is. Or I guess we could get to it if we had a Wario cap, right? Well, I guess I should go talk to that Bob Om buddy. He, he, he'd know where it is. He's a smart guy like that. I wonder where all these guys keep leaping out at. No! Well, I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, crap. He's on the other side of this. Yeah, we're not going to go see him again. Never mind. I I were misremembered. I was. I made a mistake. My bad. I'm not crossing that again. We're, we're, we're just not getting that the red coin star. Not today, anyhow. Oh, this looks like a good hole to jump into. Just jump in.
What's with all of these enemies who have this, like, fixation on mustaches? Well, you might notice with this guy, Chief Chili here is a snowy bully. Even he slips and slides on this stuff, though. What are you doing, Chief? Chief Chili! Chief Chili, what are you doing? Chief Chili, you'll go down with us, you fool! This is pretty surreal. I mean, Luigi, magically turned into 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 Mario, is fighting one of Bowser's lieutenants, who's a big ball of ice with a mustache, on an, on an iceberg on a mountain in a blizzard. No, 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 I was close. You see, the difference between us is that Luigi can only take being knocked off once, whereas this guy can take it multiple times because I guess he's... I don't really have an explanation. You know, if this weren't so slippy slidey, this would not be so difficult. Hey, is it just me or when we hit him, does some ice, like, fall off? I, I, I do think there is some ice that falls off. Okay, what we need to do is get behind him and then go like this! Yeah. There we go! I can see how this guy could beat Wario. I mean, they're both heavyweights, but... Rule of three! This must be the final... final... time we're gonna... No! Oh, I get it. It's like lava, except it's not because it's so cold. So it's really, like, not like lava at all. But... Hey, 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 no you don't. Well, we fell off too, but... Why are all of these guys obsessed with mustaches? Sorry you're not doing so hot, Luigi, but, uh... I think we found just the, just the key we need. Oh, yeah. Anyway, but this game really is sort of, uh... I think it is one of the best Mario games, because it takes all of the great stuff about Super Mario 64, but puts it into the- but adds more stuff to it, improves the graphics, and makes it feature Luigi and Wario, another two series mainstays. If it had Donkey Kong somewhere, it'd be even better. And another thing I like is that, um, although of course Peach is kidnapped and it's still, you know, is annoyingly cliche and sexist as ever. The fact that everybody else is kidnapped makes it feel less like, oh, it's, you know, she's been kidnapped, more like Bowser has caught all of the main characters except Yoshi. Anyway, Wario, come on. We don't get along, you know, he doesn't get along best with the Mario brothers, but he doesn't like Bowser either. See? Peach is, um, put into the same category as these guys, although of course we can't play as Peach. Not in this game, anyway. Hey, Wario, now that we've finally gotten you, let's go, uh, sink to the bottom of Jolly Roger Bay. Yeah, he's not as good for jumping as the other ones, is he? Gosh, I love Wario. Yeah, punching something, then immediately falling flat on his face. That's Wario, all right. Nobody beats up baddies quite like crazy man here. 
I mean, I know that that's a bit of, bit of you know, hyperbolic to call him crazy. I mean, he, he's pretty weird, but I don't know that I'd say he's crazy, you know? Yeah, if we wanted to get 100 coins here, we're gonna have to get the rest of those blue coins, aren't we? Oh, well. There is a Luigi cap. I probably should have waited to press that switch till I got that. In any case, we'll do the... Wario seems to me to be the just the one of them that would go for 100 coin challenges anyway. I mean, he's always trying to get coins all the time. Wah! Now I just need to sink down all the way to the bottom. If we can do that, we can get that one star that's like on the vent. I mean, I know I never demonstrated that you needed to be metal to get it, but you do. Oh. Yeah, even Wario can't get that star, huh? Don't mind me, Sushi. Let me just get out of this. Let me just get back to the surface where we can breathe. Wario is many things, and he has had his fair share of adventures on the high seas, but a good swimmer? Nah, Wario is not one of those. I mean, he is actually a really athletic swimmer, but he's not as good as the other guys. He sees the light, though. You know what? Let's get out of here. Where else could Wario check out? I guess Hazy Maze Cave. Actually, I know what we should do. We should go back to a, um, you know, a classic stage like, uh, what's some classic stage somewhere? Womp's Fortress! But first, we'll catch this rabbit. You know what? Maybe it's about time we took a look at Princess Toadstool's rec room. I mean, I should probably show you at least some of these mini-games, right? Right. The new ones are... All right, I'm trying to pay attention to where they're landing. Good. I guess really what the key is is paying attention to where the enemy lands, right? Or not. Yeah, it's almost like Minesweeper or something. But I love these little mini-games they have. Um, I think they just... I mean, they're pretty simple, but they're charming. And you might be wondering, like, you might be thinking, I didn't get this many coins, like, keys, did I? And you're right, I didn't. But these are, um, uh... uh they also have the ones from the other, my other save files, I think. Oh, Wiggler. What does Wiggler have in store for us? This is a really stupid game, but okay. Yeah, Wigglers are known for their bad tempers. Why are they not getting mad though when we tap them? Because, I mean, we're still waking them up. If only we could get power stars by doing this, huh? No, I like him smiling up at me. Makes me feel like I've done something good in my life.
How far am I gonna get here? I'm wondering now, actually. Um... I mean, this is a lot easier for me, because it's just, can you match pictures? It's like childish in its way. Although, as you can see, as the caterpillars become more piled up, it is becoming somewhat more difficult. Come to think of it, though, are wigglers caterpillars? Like, I mean, obviously they are, but are they larvae? Do they grow into something else? Who knows? <laughs> Okay, I'm scared now. Anyway, as you can see, I, I played these mini games just a ton. I know that they're kind of just superfluous with all the other stuff here, but to me, the, having all this in addition to the main games, it's just, it's just great. I let's see what this... Oh, it's Pachinko. Pachinko! Because they're, you know, they want to promote gambling. I do remember that one of Luigi's mini games is like, um. is literally him dealing cards in a casino. I forget what exactly the game is, though. But that seems totally to be Luigi and his element to me. Is this literally just luck? I've never understood why anyone would play a pachinko video game. Not that it's quite pachinko, because it's like bingo. It's like pachinko y bingo. There's a lot less going deaf from the extremely loud noises going on, for example. Oh? Oh? Oh! We got two. Two in a row. I'm not surprised this is one of Wario's minigames, because Wario is all about gambling. Or not really, but he totally does. You know he goes to ca he hits the casinos all the time. But yeah, as you can see, all of Luigi's minigames are literally casino games. Or that's the theme of them anyway. Which one is this? Paragon. Okay. Yeah, this is simple, fun, a good way to, you know, spend a few minutes, I think. I could get a lot of points doing this, I bet ya. It's like one of those mind mindless sort of puzzle games, like, you know, Bejeweled, or there's, what, what, what other ones do they have these days, like Candy Crush? You know, that kind of crap. I'm probably not gonna win here. Or actually, I don't know. I might. No, oh, so close. Now, if these coins were, say, coins that would go towards a hundred coin challenge, I'd totally do this. But mostly, I just wanted to show you the um, uh, fantastic sort of image of Luigi dealing cards in a casino. I think that should be a whole, it's, you know, its own video game, Luigi's Casino. I think it'd be pretty great myself. Carefully, we gotta we gotta be strategic here. Is there any way we can get that mushroom on the right beneath the one on the upper left? Yes. Hmm. Hold on here. We did it! We did it, baby! Oh, yeah! Oh, jeez, I'm gonna get addicted to this. I'm gonna lose all my money in Luigi's Casino. We'll, we'll be going now. 
I do think Luigi's are both the most stylishly presented and probably the best minigames, but as you can see, there are plenty of others, so you should get the game yourself and check it out because it's fantastic. It's one of the best Mario games ever. Anyway, come on, Wario. You see, why couldn't... I don't... Something I don't understand is why Wario, with all his personality, never turned up in a Mario RPG. I expected there would be a Mario and Luigi game, for example, where they're partnered up with Wario and Waluigi. <laughs> because they had one where they're partnered up with b their baby selves, and one where they're partnered up with Bowser. Why not, not, why not with other guys? Also, let me just demonstrate that toads do indeed react differently depending on who you're playing as. Wait, come to think of it, Wario can't get behind the mirror to Chief Chili's challenge, so how is... Oh, whatever. Now, you see, Wario is... I think that my, my headcanon is that in this story... Wario hears that, and he spends the rest of the game trying to get the hundred coins. <laughs> I love Wario's going down the stairs. But, yeah, I, I mean, in theory, all of these guys are out getting stars at the same time, right? Uh, yeah, we're not going to that level. You need to, you need to be good at jumping. Let's go to Hazy Maze Cave. I feel like that place is meant for old Wario. Wario spends a lot of time running around dark underground places anyway. Wario Land uh, on the Virtual Boy, for example, involves Wario being dumped into a bizarre, deadly underground labyrinth. Actually, no, we're gonna go after the booze because Wario's upset that that guy laughed at him. Or I guess I should say, Hey, what are you laughing at me for, ah? Huh? Something more like that. This is not going well, is it? Here we go. Hundred coins, hundred coins, where are the coins? Coins! I feel like Wario doesn't care so much about what Bowser is doing. His main concern is just getting coins. And I kind of th I kind of like that. I mean, a lot of Wario games, the storyline tends to involve something like Wario is stumbled into some ancient dark conspiracy or they're demons or he st stumbles into a world that's been destroyed or something. And he just completely doesn't care and runs around getting loot. And of course, unintentionally saves everybody in the end. Another thing about- well, actually no, I'll talk about Wario games when I play one for- for the adventures of Mackerel Phones here. COINS COINS COINS! the cap? We'll get the cap later. Well, we really need the Mario cap anyway if we're gonna get go up under the balcony, which we will later once we get tons of coins. No, we're not gonna go in there. Not yet. We'll go in there through the pit inside the uh, mansion. It just seems to me that a good place to go to uh, get coins is by killing lots of booze and stealing the blue coins. Okay, you want to... 
is right, but... Curse you, Wario, and your short legs! Well, his legs might be short, but he's a stubborn... He's persistent. Well, we got up to the top of the other shelf, so we can probably do it with this one. The idea of Wario barging into a haunted house, completely ignoring all of the horrific monsters inside, and just running around killing everything and getting money, that strikes me just about the most kind of Wario sort of thing you can do. Why, why isn't there a game called Wario's Mansion? That'd be great. Why isn't it dying already? Is Wario not fast enough? Well, he apparently is. So what are those things Mr. I shoots out at you anyway? Are they tears? If so, that's sort of sad. Yeah, now you can frame now you can now you can trick people into thinking that Luigi is your, you know, committed the crimes that you're guilty of. It'll be great. Really, I don't think Wario came to the treasure to, came to the castle to steal treasures, though. I think he came to the castle because, you know, he too got one of Peach's invites. And he probably figured, hey, free cake! Now, it is a little suspicious that they all received the same invites. Wait, what the heck? I'm not sure what this room is. Oh, I see, the piano room is beneath it, right? I think so. Man, it just feels wrong to hear Wario's voice like that. <laughs> you know, like, Luigi moves, and we hear Wario go... I forget if there are any coins behind this or not, but you know that Wario is gonna check. Nah, there's not. Boring! Just a bunch of books. Ah, books always hurt me. Wow, that story of Wario's life. You know, I always thought, think of Wario as probably being the least healthy looking of all of them. But actually, I don't know. I mean, if he's, uh, you know, eating this many coins, coins clearly are very healthy, aren't they? Hey, look at me. Okay, no. so I'll we'll run around just we'll have to run around in circles and get the blue coin inside the inside the eyeball. Inside Mr. Eye. Come on, Mr. Eye. Mr. Eye! How you doing, Mr. Eye? Yeah, I got him busy. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. Coins! Wait, do all these stand up? Other ones stand up too. Wonder why. I don't know, this is haunted. Yeah, just a bunch of coffins. I've seen plenty of those. That's not. I, I don't do a very good Wario voice, I know. Please give me a break, huh? Let's see you do better, huh? Before you make fun of me, huh? God, some people are so judgmental. The real question right now is is there a Mario cap around here somewhere? Because that would let us get even more coins. You know, maybe there is. Downstairs, for example. I mean, it just seems like this level was meant for Wario to get the hundred coins because of the, the black blocks, you know? I feel like Nintendo has sort of lately not wanted to put Wario into games as much. Like, think about it. Didn't they make a new Super Mario Brothers game that's all about collecting coins? How could they have left Wario out of that? And how did Wario get it that dizzy when he just kept stopping as he keeps getting hurt? It's a nice touch that he scratches his butt. Yeah, you know, a haunted mansion full of otherworldly horrors sounds like a level that you would have and say... Super, uh, you know, in, in Wario, like, in Wario World, I mean. Wait, what? 
the star. Well, let me get... That's probably the star I'll get then, but first let me just get as many, co you know, 100 coins. We're at 8, we're at 88 eight at this point, you know, we're gonna, might as well get all of them. Booze? You here? Here's one. Here we go! Of course, Wario's in it for the coins, but... You know, really, between the three of them... You know, between Wario and, uh, Mario and Luigi... And, well, actually, no, four of them, because there's Yoshi, too! Between all these guys, it seems to me pretty much inevitable that they're going to get the coins back. Bowser doesn't stand a chance against these guys put together. I think it makes sense to t put on the Mario cap, because with the Mario cap, we'll be able to run a little faster. Not that Wario's fat, of course. I mean, like he said in Super Mario World. You know, he's not fat at all, just because you got your TV on widescreen display. Now, Mario himself is a little pudgy, but he, I wouldn't exactly call him fat. I see what we need to do. We probably should cut through this, shouldn't we? Okay. This might not be as easy to get as I expected, then. No, no! They say try and try again or something like that. Doesn't somebody say that? Probably. Me. Just now, just a moment ago I said it. So yeah, clearly somebody does say it, huh? Okay, Wario in Mario form! You know, I bet Wario is kinda loath to look like Mario. Since Wario is already the, you know, handsomest person in the world. You know what? Forget it. Let's just get out of here. Wario doesn't have any time for this crap. I have to say, in this game, I feel like the Toads are unusually competent. They might have totally failed to stop Bowser, but they're actually, like, serious and try to help you. They're not, like, being dumb babies all the time. I mean, as they are in some of the, say, a game like Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, where to the best of my recollection, the Toads are completely... Hold on, actually, we do need Mario's cap in order to get the other star. Mario's cap, you down here? Yeah, you are. Issue is, though, that only Wario can get this star by smashing that block, that box, right? Oh, hold on, we totally did not need to go that way. Look at him rock around. He looks sort of like a monkey or something. Wait, no, we totally missed the cap again. Yeah, it's a classic Wario move, being confused and going the wrong direction. Wario does that kind of thing all the time. And so do I. We can all relate to Wario. Wario. He's saying that to remind himself that he is Wario, whatever his body looks like. I mean, remember that snowman talking about out-of-body experiences? Temporarily turning into somebody else? Now, there's an out-of-body experience for you. Still, though, I only have 35 stars. 
Back when I played this years ago, I, I mean, I had, what, 140-something stars? I don't think I'm gonna get up to that number. Uh, today. But, I do think I'm gonna try and get a lot of stars. And this time I'm gonna try and finish this thing. Although, once again, it might be impossible. Depending on how many, uh... How many... Times I have to throw Bowser into bombs in the final battle. It'll probably be three. You see, Wario, although he's already a big bloated ba ball of gas, he can't turn into one and fly around like that. I'm getting so many coins. Anyway. This level is loaded with coins. You know, Wario's parading around like, come and get me, you know. He'd probably say something way cruder than that, though, wouldn't he? Um, could have gone a little better. Wait, is that... Hold on, is Big Boo coming down here? It looks like it, actually. Wait, what the heck? Big Boo, where, where are you? Well, we're gonna have to head back downstairs and get a Mario cap anyway. I don't know why the star is chasing us around the map, though. Oh, Wario is so itching to go that he is causing steam to fly up from the grating. Something I've never understood about Wario is his pointy ears. Is he like a Vulcan? Yeah, he looks like a Vulcan. He's very logical, calm, and rational, so I suppose he's a Romulan. Personally, I don't really think... Like, I don't know how logical, how believable it is that a species could completely suppress, uh, you know, emotion like the Vulcans did. I mean, I get it. The point of the Vulcans and the Romulans is not that they're realistic. It's to sort of explore the ideas of a society that would completely reject emotion, um, and a society that would, like, totally reject... Well, actually, that's the problem. The, the Romulans don't totally reject reason, obviously. If they did, they'd just be running around being crazy people non-stop all the time. They couldn't have, like, starships or other military installations. Because they would be too busy, you know, killing each other. Or more likely running around, having sex, eating lots of food, doing those sorts of things. The sorts of things that they are, you know, fine for short-term periods, but which... Um, aren't in the best interest of your long-term well-being. Oh, wait, did Big Boo get bigger again? I think he did. I guess the key is we can't get too close to the edge here, or he's gonna... I love the sound that it makes when Mario hits him. See, that's Big Boo. He's as distinct from King Boo. Really? We have to float up there? 
fine. We'll head all the way back downstairs again and get the cap again. Really, I suppose I brought this on myself bringing Wario here. Things with Wario... Once Wario is involved, things tend to... Well, they don't tend to go poorly. They just tend to kind of go... Not as smoothly as you'd want. Though he still pulls it off in the end. He's Wario, after all. Although he's not looking so good right now. I mean, like, he never looks so good, but now in a, in a different way than usual. I think you're beginning to notice something. You're beginning to notice that as we move along, it takes longer to get stars on average than it did at the beginning. That's because you start out taking all the easy stars, all the quick to get stars, all the obvious stars, and from there, you have to move on to the, well, rather more intricate missions that Bowser has left for us. I don't know, do you think I'm making a mistake by not reading the dialogue this time round? Now that we have a moment to, to reflect on it, I mean. I can't help but to think that maybe I am. It's just that I can't really do toad voices or sound like a rabbit or anything like that, so... Maybe, maybe, I don't know. In any case, this would have been, I would have had this star like long ago if only I had been Mario to begin with. Well, that's not quite what I meant to do. But that's how it goes with Wario. What you quite meant to do is not how it usually goes. I feel like it would have been way more Wario-y if, in fact, he had gotten it that way. Oh, hey, so there's coins on the roof, huh? Might as well make our high score even higher, am I right? Oh. Well, whatever, let's just get the star then. Wait, hold on, there is a roof on that cage. But there wasn't a roof when we were looking at the cage in the stage just now. What the heck? Well, I'm not quite sure how to explain that myself, but... Okay, let's go get a hundred coins in this stage. How about it? I mean, I feel like there must be at least a hundred coins in here, right? With all these Goombas and stuff everywhere. You know, you see a when I when I see a Goomba, I see a living thing with a you know a motivation, personality, beliefs, a whole life. When Wario sees a Goomba, he just sees walking money. All that's between him and that money is ending a life. And for him, that's, uh, you know, who cares. Wario is definitely the rogue in this group. You know, in this buddy cop movie, he's the unpredictable cop. Or maybe he's not a buddy cop movie at all. Oh, well, I mean, sure, I'll take it. What other Goombas are around here to kill? I learned nothing from Nier, did I? No, I guess not, because Wario is still running around killing things without even putting any thought into it. You know, I mean, imagine this from the Goombas' perspective. 
Wario is this scary looking guy who kills all your buddies, who unlike Mario, well Mario d no, normally doesn't give much quarter, but Wario really gives no quarter. I mean, I think that, that Wario might have something wrong with him. I mean, just look at him. He's running around shouting, ah, punch, punch. Smashing bricks with his fists. It just seems sort of deranged. Maniacal. And he has that, that never, that cackle. He always has a smile on his face. Just does it, makes, you know, you know, when the Goombas see him, no wonder they begin desperately attacking. It's not their fault that their leader, Bowser, put them in here so unprepared to fight the enemy troops, now is it? No, it's not their fault at all. They never asked for any of this. I mean, maybe some of them did. We don't know. Like, you know, every Goomba, as I was saying when I was here before, every Goomba has a story. Maybe, you know, the Goombas is a, is a, is a species they supposedly left the Mushroom Kingdom years ago. Like, I, I get that, but... Like, they defected of their own will. Like, they chose to join. The Koopa, the Koopa's Kling, the, what the heck happened there? Why didn't he, ch they chose to join the Koopa, the Koopa Kingdom. You know, and some people say that after that, they deserve whatever comes to them. That's just, like, that's discrimination. I mean, that was, that was years ago, you know? That was, like, that was before Mario was even born because Goombas are already enemies in, um, Yoshi's story. Or, no, they're already enemies in Super Mario World, uh, yeah, two, I mean. Super Mario World 2, six golden points. Or wait, I'm getting that confused with something else, aren't I? No, they, they uh... God, these Bob Bombs! It was specifically, it was in, of course, Super Mario World 2, uh, Yoshi's Island, where I believe that's the one which had Goombas in it. And because Mario and them are babies, that means that at earliest, the Goombas would have defected from the Mushroom Kingdom en masse at that point. If you're wondering what I'm talking about with them defecting from the Mushroom Kingdom, yes, that is the backstory of the Goombas, is they used to live in the Mushroom Kingdom, but they betrayed them for Bowser for some reason. But obviously not all of them did, because you can see other Mario games, there, there, are, there are, you know, some Goombas who are not with Bowser. Like those Goombas who helped Mario out in the beginning of the original Paper Mario. Or not, because apparently that's not canon, because God forbid that we have anything remotely interesting in the Mario series. Well, that's not true. There's some interesting stuff here, like this room we're in. What is it? Who put it here and why? These are all very good questions, worth asking. Now we just need to get uh, onto the underside of this grill, and we might be able to crawl, climb out there and get those coins over there. You saw them, right? Those coins on the underside of, the, of, the, of this thing we're climbing on? Yeah, these ones right here, baby. Wow, indeed. There's that coin. I know that as a general principle, Wario probably likes shiny stuff, but... I feel like he doesn't care as much about the stars because they're not money. You know, a friend of mine once said that Wario is a wise man because Wario, he's a guy who knows just what he wants, money, and lots of it, and he devotes his life entirely to getting that. He wants to be happy. Oh, wait, hold on. Are there not a hundred coins in this stage? I'm afraid there might not be, so then why were there so many coins here? They're just trying to trick us out? Pretty dirty move. Well, I guess the question is, can we destroy these things somehow? I feel like we, maybe we can, right? I think so. Just have to get behind them.
Yeah, actually, we might not be able to destroy these robots. If we could, there would totally be 100 coins in this stage, but as it stands, I think that they might have just led us on a wild goose chase. I am very disappointed. Why would they put this many coins in the stage and not have there be a hundred of them? Even if there, I missed that one coin the bob bomb had, that still doesn't, that's still not the six coins we would need here, is it? No, and we can't smash the boulders or something. They're not boulders, they're like big metal balls. So, I mean, there are, there are like, they're like weaponized boulders. These are artificially built boulders. Yeah, this level was all for naught, I guess. At least it was fun seeing Wario run around with this music playing. Oh, it's Battle Fort! So that's what this is! I get it. Why is it what's why is it called Battle Fort? What does that even mean? Is that like a fort that Peach built? Is that a fort that's manned by toads usually? It doesn't look like a fort at all. It's like a chaotic construction site. Okay, so we haven't had the best luck getting coins as Wario. I must, I mean, coins. Getting stars as Wario, I confess. But that doesn't mean I can't keep trying. And I will keep trying. So, we're going to Hazy Maze Cave. Or at least we're going to one of the courses in the basement. In fact, yeah, let's go to the Dire Dire Docks. They don't strike me as so dire, honestly. I mean... Not in comparison with Bowser and the Lava World, where we go to immediately afterwards. Here we go. Well, the stars are down beneath us in this level. But Wario just sees blocks and knows he has to punch them open. Or not. Oh, forget Let's just go for a swim. Don't mind Sushi there. He's a nice guy. Oh, there's that chest in the current. All right, there are a few of them here. How charming. Well, what's in them? Chest? Oh, we have to open them in the correct order again. I see. Okay, is it... I feel like center tends to be the first chest you open in the... What? So that's the current they were talking about. Okay, f forget it, forget it. The world just isn't kind to Wario. Now, I suppose in theory that Wario, Yoshi, Mario, and Luigi are all running around independently gathering stars. It makes you wonder why they say weren't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they should be getting stars more quickly than this. But as it is, what seems to be going on is, well, one of these guys is out getting stars, the others are just lounging around like they're not in a life or death crisis. I already figured that out, Toad. But maybe Wario didn't. Not that he'd thank you. I mean, come on, he's Wario. He's he's Wario. He's not the thank. He's not a thankful kind of guy. Here we go. I don't like the sounds of this level. Wait, it's over there. There's no use smashing that. What would we be able to do? They'd probably make blue coins appear out over the lava. We couldn't get those. Yeah, Wario doesn't have much of a hard time with those kinds of things. With killing bullies. 
But how do we get over there? Well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? So they what's this mission called? Red Hot Lava Log Rolling or something? Red Hot Log Rolling. Now, there are no logs here. They'd burn up in an instant. I mean, realistically speaking, humans would also burn up in an instant if they were this close to lava, but... So we gotta get over there, huh? Oh, I see, there is a log over there. What's up with that, yo? Oh, I see, it's gonna give it, take us for a lift. Oh, don't mind the jets of fire. Everybody deals with those on occasion. Why is it that video games so rarely, like, have people respond realistically to... to... to being... to lava? If you're, that like, that close to lava... That close to lava, you're already getting burned. It's not like lava is only hot if you touch it. Here we go. Now, true, some hot is, lava is, you know, more dangerous than others. Generally, the higher the lava's vis viscuosity, the more dangerous it is. I feel like Wario might not have been the best pick for this stage. Well, nobody's perfect. And some of, you know, some of us are, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all flawed in some sense. Some of us are just more flawed than others. What are these things anyway? Why are they here? Who put them here? It just feels so artificial. Like, it doesn't feel like this is a world that exists. It feels like this is a world that has been put here for us to explore, which it is, of course, but it just, you don't want it to feel that way while you're playing it. But one of the odd things to me about Super Mario 64 and, well, I suppose Super Mario 64 DS is that even though it totally is like that, it, like, while you're playing it, it feels somehow more organic. Oh, so all I have to do is get on this, huh? Oh, I see what I need to do. I need to roll it over... Oh, over this way, right? Yeah, I do. Here we go. I'm sorry, Mario. Here we go! Or brah! Works too. How did that log not combust? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you how, because this isn't lava. It's just hot, hot cherry Kool-Aid. Maybe they mixed in some oil, though, to make it to, so they can be on fire. Yeah, let's go to Hazy Maze Cave, where Wario is more in his element. Are there toads in here? There is. Wait, what? Well, you are right then about Wario having devilishly good luck. <laughs> Man, this toad kept- this toad was pretty brave, honestly, keeping that star hidden from Bowser and his guys. Here we go. So that's what happens if you don't have a cap. It just becomes dangerous to, uh... It becomes dangerous to hit blocks. Kind of strange, but whatever. Wario doesn't care. He's just here for coins. I see. They'll come out indefinitely, but you won't get coins from them indefinitely. Okay. You know, I think that is some kind of mine, but once again, it raises the question of what, of like, why are there flames shooting up from the pits? In what universe does that make sense? I wonder how Wario is at a game like Wall Street Kid. Because it's all about making money. 
Though I feel like investing is not Wario's style. Wario's style is more run in there and just beat everybody up until they give you money. Okay, well. That's his style now. Ironically, when he was a kid, he was, you know, he was bullied. But now he has become the bully. Life is full of such cruel ironies. So I never really figured out how to get around the Hazy Maze Cave. In any case, the red coin missions are, I think, probably the best missions for, um... Getting... For getting, uh... The 100 coin stars, because you're getting stars anyway, you know? No! No! Because you're getting coins anyway, I mean. I swear, why do I keep getting coins and stars mixed up? I mean, I know what I'm talking about in my head, it just doesn't articulate well. But you see, look at Wario's model there. Did you see that? He looks so much more like how he's supposed to look in this game than he looks in, um, the N64 games he's in. Well, except Dr. Mario, because that had 2D graphics. Oh, no! No, Wario! No! So what I'm finding out now is, as it turns out, by a pretty wide margin, Wario is the worst character to play as in this game. I, um... Let's just, let's... Can I actually... Can I switch now? Whatever. I was hoping maybe I could switch characters that have to go all the way back upstairs. But nah, I guess not. Mario, you're in a very good mood given the dire circumstances we're in. Dire, dire circumstances, in fact. They're as dire as the docks. Into the volcano. I remember when I first found out that you could go into the volcano over here. I thought that was so fantastic. Okay, Mario, just stop. Just stop. There we go. You see, I didn't lose my cool. Like, I just I followed that Toad's advice, you know? Oh, now it's going to erupt. And we see, let it finish erupting. And then do the only logical thing and leap into it. See? Like Zoink Scoob! It's pretty lava filled in here! It's pretty hot in here, I guess I should say. Anyway, I think there's a red coin challenge in here. No, no, we don't want to be Wario right now. We're doing platforming challenges. Oh! Bowser is pretty devious putting that in here inside, you know, a volcano. So hold on, how are these platforms floating? Is that just their magic? Wait, hold on, was there a bob bomb buddy? No, it was just a heart. It's just a magical thing that can replenish all injuries. So, on the subject of these hearts that are floating around replenishing all their injuries, you know, like, restoring health, does that mean that if you got, like, we're dying of an illness, you could say, just run through one of those hearts and you'd be fine? If so, I mean, that's 
you know, I, I never really thought about this before, but the Mushroom Kingdom must have some pretty darn advanced medical technology. In fact, I think that Mario is committing a serious crime by not just going back to Earth, where he's, you know, where he's from, and, like, bringing that... No, there's, like, ruins here. Interesting. But yeah, why isn't Mario going back to Earth and bringing this healing technology with him? It could save millions and millions of lives. And he's from Brooklyn. I mean, he knows how to get back to Earth. There's some warp pipe somewhere he just has to hop into. And he, like, he goes back to Earth all the time for the Olympic Games. Maybe he believes that the human population should be kept under control. Maybe he believes that some people don't quite deserve to live. He could be some kind of ruthless social Darwinist. We don't really know what Mario's uh, philosophy is like. I mean, normally he's willing to just help whoever is in need. So, like, I think he's probably not, like, a ruthless social Darwinist or whatever I just said. But I do think that he... I mean, I don't know. Mario and... I, I don't think Mario is, like, the most clear-minded kind of person when it comes to political beliefs. He strikes me as the kind of guy who just doesn't even think about that sort of stuff. You know, the problem with political beliefs is people usually hold them based on, like, their emotions rather than on logic. And with something like, say, that has to do with, say, the f determining how humans should work, how society should work, etc., I think it's pretty important that you're logical about it and don't, you know, don't let it be all about passions. But in fact, people admire it when you're passionate about these sorts of subjects. Our whole society has everything backwards. I wonder how this weird lift we're on works. Oh, hey. No! Oh, well, it worked out. Um, Mario is a little bit more well-cooked now, sure. But, you know, it worked out. Can, wait, can we climb this? Yes, we have to. Oh, that's where the star was anyway. It was up here. Hey, could you go... Camera? There we go, camera. Thank you. Okay, Mario, land on this platform, okay? Yahoo! You did it! We even got a one-up out of doing that. Yippee! Okay, Mario, we're almost to that star, right, Mario? Right? Right! Good job, Mario! Wow, those, for a second, I thought those were giant coins. Yahoo! Really, what makes these platforms float like this? It's so surreal. I suppose it must be more of the Koopa Clan's magic. See, Mario is knocking these stars. He's just getting one after another. Wario, he flops around for like an hour and barely gets any. Now I just need to run around the whole course and get all the silver stars. How hard could that be? I'm sure that it will be nothing. It'll be the easiest peasy of, of lemon squeezing. Well, uh, I suppose it, it could have gone a bit more smoothly, but we got this one, right? Yeah, we did. All right. There we go. Hey, now that I think about it, wasn't this, uh... Come on! Wasn't the, uh, Koopa, the picture of Bowser there? Wasn't that different back in the original Super Mario 64? I think it was. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Ugh. Well... All the silver stars are seem to be on these sloped structures. Or not all of them, but most of them. No! No, no, no! No, in any case, that one over there is not, however. But how do we get up there? No, I mean, I guess there are stars up here so we can heal ourselves if we get hurt. There's even a one up. I mean, star. There are coins up here! Coins!
Is the only way to get these to get burned? It couldn't be. And of course it's not. There's a power flower box right there. Maybe we need to float over to them or something. It could be. Do you have a better idea? Well, I mean, really, I think what I think we should do is find a shell somewhere. But I don't think we're going to find a shell, if I'm being honest here. Ah, yes. Mario is peacefully drifting across the flaming hellscape. It's beautiful in its way, is it not? Uh-oh. No! Of all the times for it to, for, it to, for Mario to land and it to stop there like that. Of all the blasted times! Anyway, there's one over there! No! Oh! I know, I, I there must be a shell somewhere that we're expected to ride and pick all these up, right? That's what this is, right? right I, mean, I have almost all of them, though. I just gotta keep getting burned. You know what they say, you play with fire, you get burned. Well, Mar Mario is learning that the hard way today. I mean, he was already well aware of this, of this fact of life. We just need to stop here for a second and figure out where to go to next. Where is the last silver star? It's in the upper... It's, it's like in the corner. It's this way. It's on the other side of this deadly sliding block puzzle. On the other side of the bullies. On the other side of the world. There are no coins over here! With no coins, I don't think we can do this. Like, I don't think we can get back to where that star is with no coins. Yeah, well, well, that that's it. It all ends here. How perplexing! Okay, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to this cave. Let's forget it. Let's, I don't, you know, I... Forget, forget it. Let's get, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's, get, let's go somewhere else. I don't, I don't like it here. This is... Oh, come on! Mario get bur- Mario just can't get a break. He's on fire no matter where he goes, and not always in the good way. It really is sort of fascinating to me, like, just moving around in Super Mario 64 is sort of is sort of like a pleasure. Oh, cheap cheeps! All these beautiful, you know, all this beautiful ocean life. What? Now, can we get one if we follow that manta ray? I bet you we can. Well, let's go. Yeah, we did. For some, somehow? It just goes to show, you know, exploration pays off if you just don't get sucked into the vortex and die. Now, that wasn't Mario's best pose, but it was pretty good. Dire, dire docks again. Dead to rights. I mean, dire, dire docks. See, he triple jumped into that one. Now that was the final one they expected us to get, huh? Well, I just, I showed them, didn't I? I feel like there were a lot of times in Super Mario Galaxy where you had challenges that were structured like swim through a bunch of rings or something. Get a lot more of that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's not the one we want to open first. Maybe it's this one. No, that's not the one we want to open first. I don't really see any other chests, but I believe they must be... Oh, there's one. Okay, so we got some air out of it. Phew! We don't have much room for, uh, to make, uh, to error here. Get it? Because it's air? <laughs> yeah. There's the... 
I was about to wonder where the star was, but as I was going to sit, you know, vocalize that, the star appeared. So what was going to be where's the star instead began to come out as there, but it didn't make sense to say, oh, there's the star, because I had not already said where's the star. It's important to keep these things in mind. Okay, what's next? <sighs> I don't like the sounds of this level. Not one bit. But very well. I mean, we've come this far. Oh, look, it's a... It's the manta ray. Big, friendly guy just drifting along. Not hurting nobody. Get all the coins, though. I'm, I'm here for coins. I'm in a coining mood today. I did not get succeed in getting the mushroom. No, 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 Getting, trying to get a hundred coins is always what does you in. Let's just go to Tall Tall Mountain, screw it. Maybe Tall Tall Mountain, in, in, in an ironic twist of fate, is going to become my favorite stage. Nah, it won't be. It could never beat Big Boo's haunt. But to be clear, that Big Boo we're fighting, that was Big Boo, not the guy who kidnapped Luigi. That was King Boo, even though the game mistranslates his name as, as Big Boo, because I believe that in the original, he is, the original script, he is identified correctly. Actually, hold on. Okay, well, go get him then. Hey, did I already catch you? Probably. Yeah, I don't really care that much. No, I'll, I'll try catching you again. Nah, I don't care that much. I, no, I'll try catching you again. I'll, I'll try, I'll try, I, I, nah, I don't care that much. And uh, here we go! So let's just climb to the top of the mountain already. Forget about coins, we don't need those right now. We'll go for the hundred coins some other time. Man, this is so much faster when you're not obsessed over getting all the coins. This is way faster. I wonder what the all-time all world record speed run is for Super Mario 64. Like the original one is the one where people are doing the, the, those kinds of things, not the not the better one, because the other one is um, seniority. Okay, now we see the hop up here. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mario. I know you're a good guy, Mario. I know you want to make this jump. I know that you're not doing this to me because, you know, you're, you're mean spear. You're not doing this to me because to, to screw me over. It's my fault that this is happening. Okay, and I understand that, Mario. I really do. And I'm, and I'm sorry that I keep losing my temper with you. Wait, is this the way we need to go? I don't remember anymore. Is it? Um, no, I don't think it is. Oh, well, we could get even more one-ups. Actually, do, do your lives reset every time you restart in this game? Well, I suppose I'm gonna find out the next time I turn it off, aren't I? I wonder if he could knock down those giant mushrooms like this. That'd be pretty nifty if he could. You could go down there and take out those bob bombs, of course, but... Hey, you guys wanna... Nah, you don't. Anyway, um... Yeah, this is the way we need to go. Ugh! Crap, now we're back over here with the monkey and the, and the flaming shy guy man. Oh, blast it all. We're down. We're back at the bottom. 
shoot. Dang you, tall, tall mountain. Dang you. Dang you to heck. Okay. That was, that was a good save there, if I may say so myself. And I do. No one else here is, ta is here to talk to me. I'm, al I'm alone. I'm alone and talking to myself because I'm crazy. I'm like a crazy man. Now, J JK, I'm not like a crazy man. I am one! Okay. Now we just need to get up here. I, you know... It seems to me that I'm in a somewhat different frame of mind playing this than I usually am when I do Let's Play. It seems to me that to me this is almost like a... No! No! A... You know what? I, d I don't want to deal with this stupid mountain! It's a nice touch that when you're airborne you can't pause it. Because then you could quit if you're about to fall in a pit and you wouldn't lose a life. And they don't want you to be able to do that. Let's just go get all the stars out of bob on Battlefield and uh, Big Boo's Haunt, shall we? Yeah, we will. Last one, they saved the hardest one for last. Because this one involves flying. The hardest thing to do in this game. Okay. Oh, we just need to shoot way too high and we might land on the island. Okay, so that almost killed us instead. And didn't get us far at all. We landed just a few meters away. But we got up pretty high, though. I don't think anyone would dispute that. Coin! We're almost totally healed, though, because this is not a compl complex level full of traps and tricks and de deadly dangers. Here we go. It's funny, in most Mario games, these th this is like the most mundane power-up, because it's the one you get all the time to get to your normal size. But here, here, this is a, you know, this is something special. Okay, so you have to take out eight things in order to uh, get a one-up. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's keep climbing the mountain until we get to a point where we can fly up to the island and get the wing cap and see if we can fly through all those circles of rings. Not circles of rings, I mean circles of... You know what I mean. Sir, wait, hold on, come to think of it. How, how did the bob -omb buddies establish these cannons on the enemy's enemy-held territory? Anyway, where to get the, get the get the coins, not the rings? This isn't sand. No! All the way back to the very beginning. It's a Koopa. And th oddly enough, in this Mario game, the Koopa Troopas run from you. Normally, you expect just the opposite. Aren't these guys supposed to be like Bowser's main, you know, soldiers? Yet they're so rare in the 3D Mario platformers. I'm surprised he doesn't try and get his shell back. Anyways, we'll be on our way now. Why didn't the Bob Alm go Bob Boom? I don't know. Oh, that didn't last long. I hope we could slide all the way back up to the top of the mountain in style, but instead, no such luck. Once again, climbing mountains is a common theme in this game. I'm surprised though that I, though I overshot it, I got the uh, overshot the floating island. I got the red coin above the tree. I'm surprised. I would normally expect not to get that at all. Okay. Okay, here we go. See? There we go. Now we just need to um, fly through those circles. That you see that you see what I'm talking about there, those coins? You know the ones. You, you, if you've been if you watched this whole thing, you, you, of course you know that. You know what? If Since we have to do this, I'm not honestly sure that I ever got all the stars on this stage. I'm fairly convinced it's impossible to actually get anything when you're um, controlling, you know, flying Mario. Come on, Mario. Get There we go. 
Yeah, we're not gonna get all the stars in Bob on Battlefield because one of them involves flying. The most impossible mechanic in the game. Be well, not impossible, not in the sense that it's physically impossible, although a lot of them are. I have a feeling that Newton might have a lot of problems with the way certain things go down in this game. You see, Mario got it on his first try. Wario had to try and try again. But anyway, there, did you just see? Did you just see that? You could clearly, there's clearly a l roof to the cage, but when we're in the level proper, there is no roof. And it's suddenly nighttime, actually. How is it nighttime? Is there, is there like its own atmosphere contained within? Wait, hold on, did I see a star outside? I think I did. No, I didn't. Well, I don't really have any clue where this star might be. I mean, they said it's a hidden room. There must be a million of those things, though. You know... I don't know. That was a good conversation. I know what we could do. We go to that stage where King Boo was and try and get all the red coins there. There should be a Luigi cap in it now, right? I mean, I think so. I think that's how this works. Alternatively, we would come here with Luigi, put on a Mario cap, and then come up here and then go to that stage. Wait, what? Oh, it's in here. Oh, yeah. Th that would be harder to get to, wouldn't it? Wait, what the? What's this? Nothing, I guess. Let's go into one of the deeper, you know, deeper red coin rooms. Like, this is a deeper red coin room. It's like a deeper star level. Because when you're going into a painting inside a painting world... Oh, wait, it's the one on the right. I remember now. Come on, man. That is not cool, man. Oh, wait, I see. It's on the bridge proper. At least we got a one up. I think it was this way? Yeah, it was this way. Good. What's he laughing about? We already beat him, didn't we? I wonder what would happen if we went to face him again, actually. He'd probably have somewhat different dialogue since he doesn't have Luigi captured anymore. Alright, to the best of my recollection, in order to get the remainder, we need to be Luigi. No, it's not this way. So let's see if I can pull this off. It's, um, it's right? It's right, then left. I remember that much. I mean, it's easy for you. You can just go back and watch the video and be like, Oh, this is how he did it. But not me. It's right, left. Then... No. 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 Then this way. No, it couldn't be that way. It's too... It's not, it's not loud enough. No! Fuff! Ah! That... Darn block got in the way! I feel like most of the time I die in this game is because of that kind of stuff. No, it's not. It's not right or left. So maybe it's left, right, right. It's my... Er, right, left, right, I mean. So that was left. Now... No! 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 Gosh, this is so frustrating. We've gotten most of the coins, though, and we have the Luigi cap, so we can finish this. No! God! How many times do I have to try this, man? 
It's talk about demoralize. Well, I guess I suppose that a lot of my video game playing experience could be described as demoralizing. I feel like a lot of the times I play video games and it's like, I'm just trying to do a bunch of simple things and I can't. Okay, here we go. Hey, how's it going? So the one we need to go through is the one that's opposite the- Okay, you know what, I just want to get these ghosts out of the way, the booze out of the way now. Hey, booze, booze, booze. What? Stop turning the camera around! I need to see them! This darn camera! You know, it's funny because they think it's like Luigi, but it's really Mario. He's not scared of them very much at all. Would it make more sense for Luigi to have to fight the booze? Like, to save Mario? I mean, I know that happens later on in Luigi's Mansion, but I feel like it's just more appropriate that way because then in this game they would all face their fears. Not that Mario is scared of anything, he's Mario. He might be scared of, like, becoming a bad guy. That would actually be kind of interesting. So I think we needed to go through the side with the Wario cap. So we'll just head back over there. I could make risk that jump, but you know I'd screw it up somehow. Specifically by missing the platform and falling into the pit. What is this stage called? Yeah, see, it should be called King Boo Battle. I mean, I can understand why a translator might be confused and think, well, King Boo, like, you know, you might think that that they're the same character, because there have been so many giant boos over the years in these games. That was not the way to go, in fact, huh? Okay, well, let's go through this, then. It's right, left, right. Now we know it's not straight, so let's try left. The important thing in this stage is that if you fall in the pits, you don't die. Okay, let's try this one then. I just feel like it wouldn't be the same side twice in a row. It's just my feeling. It's loud enough. Yeah, it was loud enough, sure enough. Okay, so we have to... Oh, I see what we need to do. We need to put on that Wario cap, I think, and smash that block in there. That's my guess. So, wait, did you see that? War Mario put that on top of the Luigi cap he was already wearing. So... Does that mean then that he's where that if he got this knocked off and he would turn into Luigi? In any case, there is a red coin inside it. Oh, we did it. Well, I think we might as well just get out of here at this point. After we get the one up. Or not. Why is there a star up there? Does that mean there's a star in here we haven't gotten before? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, there's. It's totally marked with a gold star, like here. Is there a gold star? Is there actually a star we haven't gotten down here? I would think it'd just be the boss again. Yeah, is there just nothing in here? Funny how, no matter how much we look around, we don't see the boo, I mean, the Lakitu, but... Yeah, I guess this is it. Um... 
kind of weird. I wonder why they marked the map with a star. I guess it's because, like, when you go back to a mission you've already done, the map stars have the same icon. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. And now I'll finally go to this level. I just want to show it to you, you know. Shocking arrow lifts. Oh, let me tell you, Barbara. This level is just shocking. Anyway, you see, in this level, the water level is determined by where you hop into the painting. So that's pretty neat. So, if I, say, got in here and was on a lower elevation, like, if I hopped into the painting at a lower level, I, uh... The, lo the water would be lower, and those wooden platforms would be lower. And I might have to do a bunch of platforming to just get up to this point where I'm at now, where I basically start it, start it off. So, how do we get to that star, though? Is it underwater? I don't... Oh, come on. Yeah, it looks like the star might be up there on that pillar. In any case, it's around here somewhere, I think. Anyway, one of the things I... Th this is one of the levels I never really figured out. One of the things I think, one of the reasons I think that, that Super Mario 64 DS appeals to me like it does is that so much of it is sort of, like, it remains mysterious to me because I never figured out a lot of it. And even though a million people have before me, I still feel sort of, um... Well, actually, I wonder how many people have played Super Mario 64, the original, since the original one would have the same level layout. And the same mechanics, if not the same controls. You know, I was complaining about the touchscreen controls earlier, but I realize now that I must have been, must have remembered incorrectly since. Wait, hold on. Is this? Yeah, the background is water. As if this entire place were underwater. Anyways, they said there's going to be a shocking something or other, and I think we're just about to get to it, or we avoided it all together by ballooning up like this. Actually, no. This is a different one. Yeah, but you see, there's a town in the background. This is a flooded city, which I always found so fascinating. Who lived there? What's the history of this place? Wet, dry world, more than any other stage, I feel like, sort of challenged my imagination. So, as you can see, the water level is a lot lower now. What does this do? Oh, it does this. That makes sense. Could be very helpful what it's done here. What it's done for us. Now what? Oh! So you can also raise the water level within the level itself. I did not know that part. Well, that didn't go how I hoped. I seem to remember that there's some other part in this level that's like a hidden extra area, which is, which is like this, this sort of city center of, I suppose, the uh, flooded town. Hmm, what happens if I press this? Anything? Yeah, something does happen, that's for sure. If Mario would just climb the blocks like he should. Yeah, we can't get in there from this angle anyway, but... Wait, so, hold on, where is the star we're trying to get to, though? I mean, it's shocking arrow lifts is the name of the level, which is... Oh, I see. These are the arrow lifts. And it's shocking because there's this... This guy here is moving around. Oh! Ah! I wonder why I couldn't just swim down there if I had started the, you know, with the water level higher up, though. 
I'm sure there's probably some reason. It's a good thing that these their presence doesn't cause this entire place to become totally ele totally electrified. <laughs> what I would really like is if the water level were like one iota higher so I didn't have to keep jumping back up here every time I fall off of that. In fact, maybe I can make it get one iota higher. No, I can't. You can only turn them once. Well, fine. Be that way. Okay, Mario. Mario! Mario! Okay, Mario, you're a good man. Saving your brother, saving your enemy, even Wario. Saving everybody except Bowser! What's so bizarre about the controls to me is that it's like so... It's just walking in a straight line, just turning around can be difficult because you have to have like a big arc. You can't just say turn around in place. You don't pivot in place. I don't care that I got electrocuted because I stayed on the platform, which is the pivotal thing here. Okay! Oh, it was right there. Well, that's why we couldn't do it if we were underwater, because we wouldn't have been able to smash our head onto that. Mario, you look pretty cool with a fire to your back. Eight coins. Now, if that's not high score material, then what is? Okay, let's go. Let's go, with Luigi. Luigi? You here, man? I mean, of course he is. Was there anything here in the original one? Oh, yeah. Was there just this room, and it say just had the secret slide in it? Might be. I'm not sure. I just feel like, you know, like that Toad said, everybody deserves a chance to shine. Maybe I'll even show back up here with Yoshi one of these days. But it's interesting because they have Mario and Luigi. And they also have Wario and Yoshi. I love how mysterious that level t name is. They also have um, Wario and Yoshi, the stars of their own platformer series. So what are these five secrets in the shallows in the sky? Really, like, what are you talking about? Why is that road curved in this weird way? Why is this block here? Can we move the block? Oh, we can! Okay, hold on, don't move it that way then. Move it, uh, move it this way. I feel like they reserved the underground theme in this game for these sort of mysterious levels. Because Hazy Maze Cave and this one are like the two ones that are all about figuring out how to navigate them as the challenge. No! There's nothing I could have done to help you there, kid. There's no reason that would help us either. So they say there are secrets in the shallows and the sky. What does that mean? Are there silver stars? Because there are five of them? Well, let's start out with in the shallows, shall we? So here we are in the shallows. There's Mario's cap. There's one of those fire, th those fire spewing spheres everywhere. Yeah, they're pretty tough. There's one of these things. Hey, hold on. Is this our secret? Oh. We found the secrets. Is there a way to make the water even shallower than it is now, though? Probably. Yeah, I think I see just how to make the water even shallower so we can get that other br that other box. Or not. Um... Can we only... Oh, wait, there... No, there's how we change things again. Oh, well, we can get in here. Is there something up here? Can we do a wall jump? Can only Mario wall jump? 
I guess only Wario, only Mario, I mean, can wall jump. Wario cannot do that. Hey, hey. Come here. Hey, no, no, yes. There we go. Come, come on, you got No, we can't change the water level anymore. Is this just impossible then? Because if, if it is, that kind of sucks. Why? Why? Oh, fine. Let's go put on Mario's cap and do some wall jumping. Yeah, that sounds like Mario. Keep wall jumping! Don't stop now! We might get somewhere. No! <sighs> Cursed ca curse you, camera angles. I mean, I feel like, you know, I feel like I've seen a number of platformers of which it was said that the greatest threat to the player is the camera. I suppose this, um, you know, goes along with that rule. Now, hold on, what are we even trying to get up? What's up there? Is this the tower that Star was caged into? I think it might be. Let's see what happens if we jump this way. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Oh, fine. Be that way. I never made much sense of this level. Never did. Well, um... If we can't lower the water anymore... I'm not really sure how we're gonna move that other box. Because it's already... It's because it's underwater. And I don't want to go through the trouble of moving all these boxes if we... Yeah, you know what? We have to go in this course from the very bottom. We have to get, get into that painting as low as it goes. They say five secrets in the sky and shallows. Well, this isn't a matter of shallows. This is a matter of no water. Or there's still some water, but it's like damp. So it's like not like enough to even wade in. It's like enough that it's damp. It's humid. Oh, but even that low in, I already have too much water. Dang. Well, there's that switch over here, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Well, Luigi, go get the go get the switch. There you are, Luigi. What the? There we go. Now this is how low I needed it to be. Okay, where is it? Where is that box? It's over here, right? Right. How do I know which way to move it, though? Can I push it into the wall? No, I can't. Do I move it this way? Towards the block here? Oh, no, we just have to move it in a sufficiently in one direction, I guess. Wait, what? Two? So the secrets aren't necessarily all moving blocks. They can be anything. How odd. So we just need to look for that sort of little action that it looks like we can do, huh? Oh. This strikes me as the sort of thing you also might have to do. Nope, that's not one of the things we needed to do, though. Well, I suppose it's time to raise the water level, I mean, I guess. Yeah, that hurt. Let's go. Here's one. Whoa, yeah, I forgot Luigi can walk on water for short bursts of time. It's a pretty impressive talent, Luigi. Really, that's extremely, in that's incredible. How do you do that? Oh, well, it's because Luigi's God. I mean, let's be honest here, we all knew it. We've all known that from the beginning. Come on, no, no. Okay, okay, how are we gonna get up higher? Though? Where is another one of those switch, oh. Wait, no, that's the one we just pulled. We just triggered, I mean, so. 
how are we going to get the others? That almost looks like it could work. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. We're up here now. So what do we need to do up here? Anything? Is there anything we can do up here? Hey, you want to... No! Wrong way! Oh, at least we didn't die. You know, that's always a sign that your, you know, standards are a bit low is when your standards are, at least I didn't die. All right, Luigi is... Go! Luigi Mario! Come on, Luigi Mario. I believe in you. Luigi Mario! Oh, wait, there is the one we were looking for. Okay, okay. Go over here, Luigi. Here's what we're gonna do. Climb up these bricks. These that have been picturesquely arranged by some modern sculptor into this beautiful shape. And now the water is gonna be completely electrified and we'll get electrocuted. And it'll be terrible. Okay, so here we are. We finally got up here where we belong. Unless there are other such secrets around here. Like, let's climb this track here and see if we can find any other stuff that looks like the sort of stuff we ought to do. Yeah, I found something. Or not? Yeah, for some reason, that's not one of the secrets we needed to uncover. Go figure. What's this sign say? What a philosophical place. Okay, so there's another one of the things we were looking for. It seems a lot of what we're looking for is actually just breaking... Oh, actually, we're 64 of these coins already. We might want to go for the 100 coin challenge at this point. I mean, we have a lot of coins. Yeah! You know what I say? I say, why the heck not? Did you just say gotcha or action? Wait, what did it say? A coin ring? Yeah, a coin ring. Are there coin rings around here? I haven't noticed one. Is that Goomba running away? Yeah, it's running away from us. Anyway, um... That's out of the way. No, you don't! No, you don't! Actually, yeah, doesn't this make me invisible to enemies or so? Oh, no, I'm, I'm Mario now, so no, it doesn't. Actually, hold on. I bet you that, that hitting this one right here, this block, would probably be another one of those uh, things we have to secrets. Yeah, it was. And we we got the... Well, there it is. I bet you there are more of them than these five, but you only need to trigger five of them. All right, well. It's a good thing that water was there to cushion our fall. Not that water cushions falls in real life. It doesn't do that. That's not a th property of water. I mean, you might really are about as safe, you know, hitting concrete as you are hitting water. Anyway, I'm not going to get that star yet because I want to try and see if I can get 20 more coins. And it doesn't matter if the star is underwater either. I mean, I have this many coins, how can I stop now? That's the real question. So, uh, how, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do... Nah, not gonna do that. I just need to find more th places with coins. And I think I know where to look. I think I know just where to look. That platforming challenge I completed earlier by floating over it without even realizing that wasn't what I was supposed... what they expected me to do. Well, I mean, it is, but they expected you to do that challenge later. I thought that was the first one, I, you know, the one I was on. Because, I mean... Okay. Luigi... Luigi, just climb up here. See, did you see that? He has to go through this big arc to, to turn around, and it just totally throws me off. I know I could, like, smash this guy, and that could be a source of coins, but I prefer not to risk it right now. I prefer to go over here and get these four coins. 
Whew. We're pr Whoa! Look at all the one-ups in that pipe! It's not the kind of pipe the Mario Brothers usually go down, climb into, though, so I'm gonna avoid it for yeah. now. Okay. So, we have... 92 yeah. coins. Yeah. Alright, we wanna get both of these, right? Yeah, we do. No! Well, um... We just need eight more coins at this point. I, I feel like we'd be crazy to not just get eight more coins. I mean, how hard could that be? You know, when you need eight coins, you, you can find them somewhere. See? We found uh, a few of them. I hope! Come on, get them! See? What'd I tell ya? We just need five more coins, and we could get that many. You know where we could get that many? By smashing that giant ball bomb who wants to throw us off the, uh, off the tower. So what I found odd about that sign earlier that welcomes, you know, saying the city welcomes visitors yeah. and stuff, is that means that this city is not ruined. Yeah. But what kind of city is this? There's nobody in it. Yeah. Who's ever heard of such a thing? A city that is not abandoned, but is still empty. I can't even, I've, I've not heard of such a thing myself. Hey, tall fella. You're, you're a tall fella, aren't you? Ugh. I like how Luigi makes that just ugh. For this, like, great feat of strength and his noise is ugh. Anyway, we got our star. I will say, the perhaps the one of the only couple ways this is at all inferior to the original is that Mario does not give a peace sign when he gets his, um, you know, when he gets uh, a star. As I believe he did in the original. Two in one go! Go! Good job, Luigi! Thirty-seven lives! Woo! Well, let's see if I lose all of them when I turn it off. Rabbit! No. Get first. We're gonna eat the rabbit. We're gonna. Where's the rabbit? Where's? Did Did we already catch this rabbit? Maybe. I think we did actually. Well, I'm gonna try anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, forget it. Let's just. I'm done.